you just received your diagnosis of cancer. What are you going to do? Well, you are going to read, start reading a lot about cancer. But what can you do today, probably within the next few minutes or hour, begin to do to already make it have an effect on the entire situation that you find yourself in, where your body is at war with itself, actually, because its own cells have turned cancerous. What do you do? What can you do? First thing, you can raise your oxygen levels very simply and very inexpensively without any really special equipment. There are two ways of getting your oxygen levels up simply. One, take sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate turns to carbon dioxide in the stomach <clears throat> and that goes into the blood in the form of bicarbonate, giving the blood more ability to buffer toxins and acids, dilates the blood vessels, which is what carbon dioxide does, increasing blood flow and oxygen delivery to the cell. That's what bicarbonate will do for you. The second way of doing that is to slow your breathing down. It does the same thing as sodium bicarbonate. There you'll need a little piece of equipment. You can go with a machine like this from Russia, which is one of the original pieces of equipment. You breathe through the water. Slowing your breath down. So you're not breathing out so much carbon dioxide. Or, I've been using this for maybe three weeks, it's called the relaxator, breathing retraining. You don't need to hold it in your hand. Slowing your breathing down raises carbon dioxide levels. Carbon dioxide levels trigger more oxygen. Why bicarbonate is such an excellent medicine, it does it right away. Within 24 hours, you can tr totally change the pH of the body tissues and thus increasing oxygen delivery. <clears throat> H paper and take enough bicarbonate to get your urinary pH up to 8. That's the maximum, 8.1, 8.2 which shows that you have already moved your pH and had a general effect on the oxygen levels of the body and other things as well. Breathing retraining is something you do day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. Getting your breath slower and slower and slower. First thing you should do right now is either have a loved one or yourself take your breathing rate. Take a watch out, count how many breaths you take in a minute. If you're over 15, you're very fast. If you're over 20, you have cancer breath. Breathing too fast and too shallow, you're forcing out CO2 and driving down oxygen levels. It's like, you, you know, we, when we exercise, we make a lot of CO2. So we get, breathe a lot and get a lot of oxygen. But if you're just sitting around watching TV, at the computer, walking around the house, sleeping, and you're breathing too fast when you're not exercising, instead of getting rid of all the intense CO2 through respiration, through exercise, we're getting rid of too much and driving it down. So this is something very powerful. Actually, one of the most powerful things you can do for to start addressing and treating your cancer today.